Hello everybody, Smokey Smokes here. Going to be doing a very quick tobacco review. This is going to be on something that you may have seen before. This is Blender's Gold Premium Quality Pipe Tobacco, or All Natural Pipe Tobacco Premium Quality Pipe Tobacco. Yeah, kind of a long title there. Rich vanilla flavor. I looked all over the web. I can't really seem to find the exact ingredients of this, but all I know is that I bought it from Walgreens. I think it was $8.99 or $7.99, something like that. It was a little bit less than 10 bucks for this how big is this? 3.25 ounces, something like that? 3.5 ounces. Yeah, so not a terrible price. It's not super cheap. It's not super expensive. But basically, it's just sort of a, an aromatic. It uh, has sort of a vanilla flavor, and I can assume there's yellow Virginias in there, maybe red Virginias as well. They might be putting Burley in it. I kind of doubt it, though. It's probably just a blend of Virginias, and there's a vanilla flavor in there. It has a very nice smell out of the tin, but lots and lots of bad tobaccos have a nice smell out of the tin. It doesn't really matter as much as actually smoking it. Uh, but this one's flavor is extremely mild and almost non-existent the first bowl or so, but after you have like three or four bowls, you start to appreciate the flavor. The flavor kind of comes out. It may not just be because you're smoking it multiple times. It may be because the, you know, the, it has to kind of settle. The fumes have to sink into itself. That's kind of how I describe it. Like the flavor has to kind of build up after you've opened it. That's my little theory on it anyway, because that's what happened. I first tried it, it didn't taste like anything, it just kind of tasted ashy after a while, it was really hot. It was not a great experience, but next day I tried it, it was better, next day I tried it again, it was even better, and it got sweeter and sweeter, the flavor lasts a decent amount of time, it smokes medium, medium heat. It's not hot, it's not a cool smoke, it's not absolutely optimal, it's just a, it's an okay smoke. It tastes pretty good, it's sweet, it's pretty mild, not bad, the flavor doesn't last forever, but with most aromatics it doesn't anyway. It's not a super high quality tobacco, it's not a terrible quality tobacco, it's just okay. I think you kind of get what you pay for, um, generally it's about $3 per ounce. This is like close, including taxes, just say like 9 bucks for 3.5 ounces, so you're not getting too bad of a deal there. Um, it's about average, you know, just average tobacco, but the whole appeal to this is that you can get it at a local store, like Walgreens, that's where I got it. You don't have to go online for it, you don't have to pay shipping. So it's it's not terrible. If you see it there, if you like the vanilla flavor, go ahead and pick it up. Um, I'm sure most of the other flavors that this company has, they had I think maybe like six other flavors, this one just intrigued me the most. Because um, I was used to it, like the sort of vanilla flavor. They have like the natural flavors, and they have the, the burly, and they have like a couple different flavors. But this one, I wanted to try. They had like a cherry flavor, which I have not had a very good experience with. Uh, what they call gas station cherry tobaccos. <laughs> Some people like them, I am not one of those people. Uh, but um, really not too bad. You, you'll have to smoke a few times to appreciate its flavor. It's uh, not great, not awful. Wouldn't get it again, but because it's quite a lot of tobacco you're getting for not too bad of a price, it's just kind of an all-day smoker. Like, I just want to smoke something, that's okay. This is for you. So it's not, it's not, it's not terrible. Not too bad. So if it sounds good to you based on what, how I'm selling it <laughs> right now, um, go ahead and try it. It's not too bad, so that's, what, that's it.